Okay, in this demo video, we're going to show how to do cross sections on weather nerds. So we'll go to the numerical models page. And I cheated and checked ahead of time. And I know that out in the East Pacific, we have a tropical cyclone at 240 hours. Doing this in May, so it's not the easiest time to find a TC around the globe. But you can see it there. We'll switch over to vorticity so it's a little easier to find. See it here. And one of the nice things about weather nerds is we're not stuck trying to draw a cross section through a tiny target. We can just go ahead and zoom in on that storm and make this a little easier. Actually, do that again, move it a little further. And so then to make a cross section, there's two ways. You can either go up here and click cross section mode, like that, and then draw the cross section. We'll put it through the storm here. And then to make the cross section, I can click the get cross section button, and it will compute a cross section and display it. So then to go back to the other mode, the map mode, I can just click back to zoom mode here. And now we're back where we started. So the other way to do this is with keyboard commands. So right now if I press the M key, it will switch the mode. So now you can see I have the get cross section button ready up here. So now we can draw that cross section again. And I don't have to click buttons on the screen, I can just press the C key on the keyboard and that will trigger the cross section. We'll get it again that way. And then if I'm when I'm done looking at my cross section, I can press the M key to jump back into the other mode. So you don't have to only look at vorticity. We could do uh, say moisture. If we go up let's say look at mid level moisture. See we have kind of an interesting dry tongue out to the west of our system here. So if I press M to switch modes, you can draw a cross section that cuts through that dry slot. It's even a kind of a dry slot here on the east side as well. Look at that one too. Make sure I hit the center, press the C key. Now we have a uh, relative humidity cross section. And of course, yep, there's our dry wedge that we saw in the planar view. It's a little bit drier on the east side, but definitely not as much. See the theta lines dipping in the center where the uh, warm core tropical cyclone is located. So you don't have to switch back to zoom mode every time you want to switch fields either. You can just go over here to fields and let's say we can look at winds. If I click on any of these winds, it will make a cross section of the wind field. See there's our tropical storm, Get some hurricane force winds, but they don't reach down to the ocean surface can take a look then at uh, vertical velocity. Same thing, I can click any level, it doesn't matter. It'll draw vertical velocity. You see kind of an interesting pattern going on here. Of course this is the GFS and it doesn't quite resolve the uh, sinking motion if it exists here in the center of the storm. So let me just go back to the and then plot the uh, horizontal view of this vertical velocity. Let's choose 850 millibars. It's kind of an interesting pattern here. Let's actually go up a little bit higher, maybe 700 millibars. Yeah, there's kind of an interesting pattern of rising and sinking air going on here. So you might be looking at this and be interested in a cross section. Press the M key. Let's pick an angle here that kind of cuts through that sinking motion a little bit. Of course, not too happy with that. You can always draw it a second time if you miss. And then demonstrate the button, the cross section. And it's kind of an interesting pattern. See, we have this rain band swirling in and then some sinking air inside of it. The model has rising motion here in like the eye wall. See the other eye wall and just less rising motion here toward the center even maybe a little bit of tilt in upper levels, perhaps some shear or something going on. And uh, of course we could just look for that too. Just do an overlay and put the wind shear on the 
can have a look. Looks like there is some shear out here where that dry air, air, air was. Of course, there's lots of shear over the storm itself. We're not removing the vortex or anything here. But maybe this some of this shear is um, affecting this storm and bringing some of that dry air into the center. So that's how you do cross sections on Weather Nerds on desktop. And if you stick around, Lisa will show you how to do this on mobile devices. Hey Weather Nerds, Lisa here to show you how to make cross sections on your mobile devices. From the home page, tap the numerical model button. It takes you to the Continental GFS, and you need to switch your mode to cross section mode. So tap X section mode. Now you're in cross section mode. Now drag your uh, line across the map where you would like to have your cross section and you can see that it drew this hot pink line in the center of the map. Then slowly tap get cross section twice. One, two. And here you can see uh, your custom cross section. Uh, in this case we have the winds plotted with a potential temperature contoured. But if we wanted to look at a different field just tap model fields, say moisture and you can pick any moisture. And here you can see the uh, relative humidity throughout the depth of the atmosphere. Uh, one caveat with this uh, functionality is it works pretty well on uh, Apple devices, though you might have some difficulty getting it to work with your Android. Alright, happy forecasting, weather nerds!